Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my channel. I am here with the Project Share. Um, I have a pen pal, Vanessa, who is, I'm not, not going to say this right, Vanzanita 2 here on um, YouTube, and I will make sure to put the link to her channel in the comments below. But I'm going to show you the products that I use, and then I'm going to show you what I created for her. Really quick. This is the paper I use, and I actually got this from, um, Walmart a couple of months ago, and they were, I don't know, for some reason they were, they had all their paper on clearance, and I actually got this for a dollar, and it was just steel, and it's actually, it's a really nice, cute paper, I don't know if you can see it there, yeah, you can see it, because I can see it, there you go, let me just flip through it, just to, I think I bought two of them, so I might have another one somewhere, I mean, it's really thin paper, but it's nice, um, and some cut parts in there, some alpha block type items, that was something else, but I must have cut it up already. Another sheet like this with some other words. So I use this paper pad. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that at right there. And I'm gonna show you some of the dies that I use. I use this die here, which is like a um, I want to say a pillow box, but it's not. But it's like you know, one of them dies. You fold it up. That's it. Yeah, I saw this die before my daughter really looking at me like what? And I apologize for this camera like it's going in and out. Let me just see. I tried to look up here and didn't see something. But I know I got the window right here, so I apologize for all that um glare and stuff you see in there. But I use the creative time um bow die. I use this little die right here, which is another little bow die. On here I use this doily and then I use I think maybe one of these little shapes for some words or something. Sit this over here out the way, and this is the project that I created. And this is actually, I'm calling it an open envelope. Now, I got this idea from um, Crafty Cakes 21, I believe her name is. If I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm not wrong. But wherever I got this idea from, I would definitely, it'll also be in the link below because that's where I saw this idea from, and I'm like, yep, I want to try it. So, this is where I created it. You can see it's nice and Colorful. I'm going to go through the products here that I use. So here on the front, I have some bling up here. And then you see right there where I have the two bows. And I showed you a little bow. These right here come right from the paper pad. But you can see I put a little bit of bling on the sides there. And here we go that doily, which is black. And I put some more bling in there. On this side, it's a cutout from the paper pad. Put some more bling there, some more bows. And I made this into a pocket. And I just cut out some of the words and stuck them in there in a little pocket for her to use on some other projects. Like so. So in here, um, this is a little bag of, I guess I'll show you this first, because this, this bag's right here, and I've already showed you the die for that. No, I didn't show you the die, huh? There's a whole little stack that I put somewhere. Oh, there we go. So this die is actually this one right here, and I got from that place online that no one likes to talk about. And this is the die here, and the little flowers. And that makes this little bag right here. And so in here, I just put some, uh, got some, these are some, um, little, uh, I'm going to say glue dots. I got a whole bag of them from Tuesday morning, so I, I gifted her some of those. These are some, just some clear, um, bling, some black. And these right here, I got from that place once again. And these are some 2018 charms. Um, I'm not sure if you all know, but I had two kids graduate this well, last month in May, my oldest daughter got her bachelor's degree, and then my youngest daughter graduated from high school. So I got these because I had did some, um, their invitations, which will probably be, I, I didn't videotape them or anything like that, but I'll probably do a project share on the two separate invitations that I did for them. But anyway, so I cut out some, um, in the different papers so she can have some of these bags and put them together, however she cho chooses to do that. In here, I have, and I didn't show you this die either. I must have put it away. Um, this is just a cutout from the paper pad, and I made it into a bag topper. These are just some more black and white. Um, they're like frames that I did. Um, I cut out and gifted her some of those. This right here is just 6x6 six six paper. So I took a couple of sheets out of the 12x12 12 12, um, paper pad and cut them into 6x6 um, six six, um, size squares, I guess you can say. So it's like a little... Uh, so just so she wanted to make some different projects or something, so it should be four of each because, you know, one sheet paper can get four six by sixes. So I put that in there like so. Over here, I just have a little bag of bows, and I showed you the bow, um, the bow die. This right here is that, um, is that scallop bow die. 
And here are just some of the smaller ones. And I actually put it in a little bag so that's a, um, a bow topper. Like so right there. And I have it in four, um, the four different colors to actually go with the paper collection. Right here I just have some of the cutouts for her to use. Little journaling spots like that. And this here was that die that I had showed you that makes the little bag. Uh, this one here. And this green right here is the bag itself. Then I just cut some out in blue and some other colors. that uh, Some pinks and things like that. So I actually put that in there also. Here I just made a um, paper clip. I got high on there. You can see the little flower that actually came from that one die. Uh, like these little flowers here. They came with the bag. So then, uh, oh, here we go. That's that right there. Here is just some little tags that came from the paper pad that I cut into different colors. If you know, so you can stamp words on there and put them on things as um, labels or embellishments. And then this is a clipboard that I put some of the paper on so she can actually, you know, use it for little notes, things of that nature. And I put paper on both sides. And then I, oh, here on this that I have where I gifted her a plan for her to, you know, paint, color, or put um, pattern paper, whatever she wants to put on there. And this is how the envelope looks. Like that. And you can see, it's just, uh, I forgot the size. Like I said, I'm going to put the link below and she shows you exactly how to make it. So, and of course, if you do double-sided paper, then you won't be able to see this white. Or you can, you know, put a border or something up there. And then this is the back. And on the back, I just said, uh, put up there, be happy with some, um, with the flags, and you can see I put some bling in the corners. Down here, this is just some black um, crepe paper I put along the bottom here, and then also a strip of the pattern paper, just to get a little bit of something at the bottom. All right, crafty folks, that is my project share. Thank you for stopping by. Like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose to. I'll remember to put those two links that I mentioned in the description box, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.